are gathered here today to celebrate the blessed union between this man, Jason, and this gorgeous, beautiful bride, Melissa, the sacrament of holy matrimony. This is the single highest commitment that two communities can possibly make to each other. It is not something ever to be, to be entered into lightly. We are not just joining your lives together as husband and wife, but the lives of your entire families as well. Thus, if there is any person here who has any reason whatsoever to believe why these two people should not be joined together, everybody's already nodding, and holy matrimony, <laughs> speak now or forever hold your peace. Anybody? No? Alright. You can both turn and face each other. You just lost your chance, guy. Alright. To you, Jason, take this gorgeous bride, Melissa, to be your lovely wedded wife. To have and to hold, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do you part. Very good. And likewise, Melissa, you take this man, Jason, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do you part. I do. Very good. Do we have the rings? Yeah. All right. Oh. There we go. Okay. Now the rings, as we all know, form the shape of a circle. And apart from being a whole lot easier to wear on your left ring fingers for the rest of your lives, they form the unbroken circle of love that two human beings, especially those just like you who are getting married today, shall have for each other. Jason, would you kindly and gently place the ring on your Melissa's left ring finger? There you go. Nice and tightly so she can never get that off. Yeah. Embrace in hands. I have a staple gun and some glue in my car if you need it. <laughs> and repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I be wed. I, I, Jason, I, Jason, take thee, Melissa, take thee, Melissa, to be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to always love you. I promise to always love you. To always honor you. To always honor. You. To always respect you. To always respect. You. To always listen to you. To always listen. To, you. to always be patient with you. To always be patient. And to always be your best friend. To always be your best friend. And lawfully wedded husband. And lawfully wedded husband. Very good. And likewise, Melissa. You see, and he didn't even say awfully wedded husband. He said lawful. <laughs> do it kind of kindly and gently. We've had that happen many times. Place the ring onto Jason's left ring finger. Don't worry, you'll have to get them resized with time. It always happens to us. There you go. At least, all right, there we go. Embrace in hands and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I be wet. I be wet. wet. I, Melissa. I, Melissa. Take thee, Jason. Take thee, Jason. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to always love you. I promise to always love you. To always honor you. To always honor you. To always respect you. To always respect you. To always listen to you. To always listen to you. To always be patient with you. To always be patient with you. And to always be your best friend. And to always be your best friend. And lawfully wedded wife. And lawfully wedded wife. Very good. Now, we have a short scripture reading. This is great advice for anybody, but especially to people just like you who are getting married today. Love is patient. Love is kind. It, it does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophecy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part shall disappear. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I talked like a child, and no surprise, I reasoned like a child. But when I became an adult, just like you two are here today, I put aside my childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been now. The most important part. And now these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these, which you shall both have for each other, is 
of course. Love. You can all bow your heads, please. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask your many blessings today upon Jason and Melissa as they join together with you and each other in the sacrament of holy matrimony as husband and wife. We we all know and recognize that this path is, is, is not always easy, but we ask that you always help them to remain very committed, very loving, very kind, honest, and loyal to each other. And we know that with your help and that with your commitment to each other, that their bonds as husband and wife and their lives will be strengthened and enriched and blessed. We ask these blessings in your name, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, Jason and Melissa, I can tell you something. In a marriage, you can be one of, of two things. You can be right, or you can be married, but you cannot and you will not be both, especially not at the same time. For the husbands, put your wives first. Wives, put your husbands first. Let this small stuff go. Put your egos aside. 99.9% .9 of it, it's all small stuff. There are so many things that you can choose to argue and bicker and fight and nitpick about over a thousand and one in a day if you try. Some people say that today, that, that the day that you get married, that it's the best and most difficult part of ever getting married. And that's partially true. I mean, it's a beautiful environment. You know, it's a wonderful uh, setting. Lots of family and friends here, here with us. And also the time, the expense, and, and everything else that can go in with it. But the truly best and most difficult parts of ever getting married is not today. No. It's the day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year of crossing that bridge together. When the going gets tough, the tough doesn't just get, get going. No. Divorce is so easy to do, especially in the United States and uh, states like Oklahoma. They go and sit back down together. They listen to each other. They compromise. They work it out. You can do this. You can look back many years from now and have a very happy and successful and fulfilling marriage. Not always easy, I will say. And, and will you both do this? Okay, now just a few last quick pieces of advice. There will be times in your lives when you ask yourself and each other, why oh why did I ever propose? Why did I accept? Don't worry, everybody goes through it at least once. Also, if you ever have any problems that are too great for the two of you to solve on your own, never ever hesitate to go find an outside objective ear, a minister, a counselor, somebody not involved in the situation to help you with it. There's nothing wrong with doing that. And also, sir, there's a very old saying, and any couple like y'all that has ever been married for very long can tell you that it's true. Happy wife, happy life. Before you do, say or think a single thought in your mind. Ask yourself, will this make my wife happy? And if the answer is no, don't do it. Now, I, I checked both of my cell phones just before we started. You both saw me. There's been no phone call, no text message, no pardon from the governor or the president. This is your absolutely last chance to back out. We both wish to proceed. All right. Well, then, by the power invested in me by our Lord God in the state of Oklahoma, it is my honor, my duty, and indeed my privilege to uh, officially pronounce you husband and wife. Sir, you may enter kiss this gorgeous bride. <laughs> Yeah! And I present to you the happily married couple. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we need to get you a doctor.